So, welcome to my spa. <laughs> I rolled my only towel, the chest, the one, but I rolled it to pretend this is a spa. So, usually I don't, that. I don't do that, of course. <laughs> so, since some of you thought this was going to be a triple X rated video, no, I'm not going to give you that much, but I will show you the process I do. First of all, I use about a gallon of water. I used a little bit earlier today because I did the parts you're not going to fully see today. Uh, I warm it up. I, I warm half of the thing so I get a nice um, warm temperature in the water. So I don't need that one anymore. This is my tub. And what I do is I remove the lid, put it on the side, and empty it. This is my laundry soap, my enzymes for the toilet, and I always have a good stash of uh, wipes that I use for cleaning in general of myself. A little bit of lotion and my towels. This is the one I use to scrub my skin. So this is the one I will keep there. And this is the tab. So the tab will go there. And this is what we will do. I always use this little cup. It's a, just a Tupperware. With a drop of my shampoo. This is apple cider shampoo. And we, a drop. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Well, the thing is, what I am doing here is I am diluting it because if that little bit... Well, this one is diluted with water already, so it is not as thick. So half of it is, is water. But I diluted some more because otherwise it is very hard to rinse this off of your hair. So by diluting it, it goes away faster. And it does the cleaning anyway, so that's good. Okay, so I will need my towel handy. A apart from the shampoo, after I am done with that, when I comb my hair, I either use almond oil to hydrate my hair a little bit, or stay in conditioner and because with the lens you always have to have something but let's take our oh super important I put this tub here I recommend you put an old towel or a sheet or something because the first attempts are really messy um, then you learn how to control your messes so, let's do this. <laughs> and then, of course, I am going to fast forward the process. Yeah. Getting the hair wet is the most difficult thing because yeah. that is what sprinkles water everywhere. Yep. So we are trying to control that. How long have you been using that apple cider stuff? Oof. Probably Three months. Okay. My hair is very oily, so I I need something to cut the oil. That, yeah, that keeps it kind of in control. And since I do this every three days or so I 
it's only just like refreshing it doesn't really need to be a super deep clean usually i i take advantage of planet fitness for that yeah so then i use the same cup for rinsing because that gives me more control if i have too much shampoo in my hands this is the time when i want to rinse my hands and of course you would have to reach behind your ears and everything the elbow dripping is uh, <laughs> it's always a concern <laughs> Still got some in the front. Yep. So one thing I like to do with my towel is wrap it up as a turbant. But if I do that, oops. I don't have enough room. <laughs> so what I will do today, because usually I don't care about that. I will just go like a nun. Just to avoid dripping. Just that. Usually before I do my hair, I start with some um, makeup remover, makeup removal towelettes. And even guys should do this because it's amazing the amount of dust that is out there and uh, having your pores cleaned is important i i remove my mascara that i usually forget to do at night Shh. don't tell any beauty experts <laughs> that i forget And on very windy days in the desert, after you do this, you can see the dust in the towel. So that goes in the basket. Perfect. And guess what? My, my bath consists of four steps, basically. That was the first one. Now, the second one is on that shampoo water. Yeah stop I put my feet for a nice soak and because it has shampoo I don't need to add soap or anything else because it is it is already working it, it works still and uh, I don't even need to do it with my hands because my feet can work a little bit so one feet will uh, uh, this is uncomfortable I want my turban <laughs> so one feet washes the other one in every possible corner it feels good because it's like a little massage and when your feet are dirty you can tell they are clean because all of that dust and dirt stays in the water so usually if I have foam on my feet I just rinse them before drying them up here yeah. 
Wandan. And the idea is that I am not spending too much money in water anyway, because I can refill the gallon for around 30 cents. So that is what my bath costs. And now comes the... Oh, well, we did the hair, we did the feet. Now what I do is in a little bit of water and you can always add if you're into that you can always add a little drop of uh, essential oils or something in there that is up to you with a moist towel i just scrub my 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 skin because we i don't need any soap or anything to do this because the point is scrubbing to remove the dust and the salts you may have from sweating or something. Uh, as you scrub, you remove those extra things we don't need. And of course, you're going to do this all over your body and then you're going to apply your deodorant. You can always use the wipes, but I like the moist towel and as you do that you also take care of your skin by not adding any soap soap uh, depletes your skin from their nut for it from its natural oils so doing this you're perfectly clean assuming of course once in a blue moon you go to a planet fitness and take a proper shower that is step number three and now comes the fun part that you're not going to really, really see, but you will. You, you are people with great imagination, so you will be fine. In, not in this water where I scrubbed my skin, but in clean water, I will put a drop, just a real drop of um, body wash. I am using one with disinfectant properties. I don't know what that is, but it's okay. So I dilute it there. And of course that is going to be, that is going to go to my private parts, which is like this. I just go down on the tub and I recline back. I pour the disinfectant and this is a good position mostly for women because what happens is this water goes from the front to the back. You don't want to do it otherwise because whatever in infectious thing you may have in your posterior side should never touch the front of you. So I pour the uh, nice body wash, I foam around and then I just pour water and everything falls in the tab. And when that is done, I have my towel here. It comes to the rescue. It dries up everything that may be left around there, in between the legs, in the teeny, teeny thing. And we're done. We are clean and sparkling and shiny. And uh, that is how you take a bath inside of a van. Uh, and uh, the, the best thing is I never use more than three quarters of a gallon of water. So yeah, let's say 30 cents and a couple of drops of shampoo and body wash. That's it.